What's good everybody, man, it's your boy Jay in the building, we is back again with another video. Now before we get this video started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel, make sure you guys share this video. Oh, first off, man, I hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving. I had so much food, dog. listen, I got a big ass put of food, and I fell asleep by the Cowboys and Giants game, so I was <laughs> I was tired as hell. I ate so much food, but happy Black Friday, everybody. Listen, we got the Turkey Day Classic, the 100th Turkey Day Classic, man. Tuskegee versus Alabama State, man. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Finish up the marching oh, man. Crimson Piper Band. And what we got, we baby, go what we got. This Thanksgiving Day, first play from scrimmage, a pass out of the hand of Key to Asa Gray. I was watching this game for a little bit too. While I was getting the while, uh, food getting ready. Elsewhere, mm. before coming here as the carry and a flag coming out in the process. So already in Golden Tiger territory and the handoff in a small run ahead, a short gain of two yards for AJ Gates Jr. And you football, but the way I wonder what is through the air this team gonna look like next year. Forty yards per game Ooh. passing. So although you want to show that you're the more physical team because you're a step up in competition level, I think the back position which he played back in high school here on third down key. Back to pass as a man. Mm, wide, wide open. That was a good throw. That was a good throw, Kareem. A touchdown of 45 yards. That was a good throw, Kareem. The key's going to be his offensive line keeping him upright. Here go the Golden Tigers. Johnny Morris mm. on the carry. Trying to get to the outside. Draquan Thomas mm. going to bring him down. Morris still oh, ooh. on his feet. Woo, come on. And he's still going out. <laughs> Near the 50-yard line, just brought Good down one, about the 49. Excellent run for 14 yards. I mean, this is just all effort right here. They talked about how uh. much of a motivator that Johnny Morris can be. Well, he's a leader by example. Great job of setting the tone early on the first play from scrimmage. Here we go. They hand it off once again, going to that Get left on. side. Oh, Johnny here. Moore is looking for some room. Picks up. A decent yard, set of yardage, four yards on first down, brought down by effective with it early on. They've been successful. 18 yards picked up on the ground thus far, second and six. Yo, y'all saw the uh, the numbers for the Tuskegee's man. homecoming? One -on -one just overthrows him. You saw Amon Scarborough come over. Dog, Tuskegee bring him out, dog. Tuskegee really bring, bring him out. Down crazy numbers. Just over 40%. Crazy numbers is crazy. Beal has time, delivers, mm. and right at the mark is going to be important Good where tackle. they spot this. Maybe a yard or two short as Garmin comes up with the reception. Go for it. The Air Force, of course, Tuskegee Airmen. You hear that quite often mm. here on the carry. That's Daquan Kinsey for Alabama State. And a couple yards on the carry for Daquan Kinsey. Ooh. Points. Oh, man. Field goal fest, nine to six over the Panthers. Here on second and eight, roll wide, down wow. wide open. Wide open. This time it's Robert McMahon. He's a great I mean, wide open. Speedster, indeed, 73 yards. Another Damn. huge play for this Hornets offense. <laughs> and right I mean, now, wide open, Jail. 41 to three convincingly. And well, I saw this play. Mm. Tuskegee's got to try to figure something Crazy. out. A little pooch kick there. On side. And they got the ball back. And right there, that is the wild, bro. Trying to catch everybody off guard. They got the ball and back. Alabama That's crazy. State recovers it. Alabama State. Well, look at the numbers here today for Kareem Key. You couldn't ask for a better start. 133 ball, yards. He's completed every pass in this one. Whoa, Another solid game from Jalen Jones, who already has a 45-yard touchdown reception this one I, he's got a lot in his tool bag and a lot to work with here now that he's gotten comfortable with this group hand mm. it off strong hit. run ahead picks it up hit, the boy. first down that's marcus harris the second who picks up the necessary yardage different people as your quarterback 
It makes me think that they were as good as advertised because they were projected to win the SWAC East. Come here. Good play. One of the few negative plays we've seen from the only negative play we've seen from Alabama State so far in this game. But and the effectiveness, effectiveness the football. through the air. This is the cover two in the middle field's too open right now. Key looking, Whoa. looking, has plenty of time. Everyone covered downfield and it just has to throw it away. So good job by the Tuskegee defense to force the first incompletion oh, and now third at. and long here for a pass and catch to Jalen Jones. Let's see what they do here. Had Robert McMinn open, just missed him. We're on the post and it's four. How about Dr. Quentin Ross also went here mm. along with the head coach, Eddie Robinson. So they go way back. Come here, Wolf, come here. On the carry and swung down, Johnny Morris picks up mm. three. Jaquim Fletcher in on the tackle. I'm among the best in FCS. I want to tell the truth about Alabama on State after this game. I'm going to tell the truth. Looking underneath oh. and just dropped in and out of the hands of Johnny Morris. The right read there, just the check down from Beal, but Morris couldn't hold on to it. And Morris, we've seen him. Championship back in 2000. He wants to see his quarterback deliver. Mm. And right there, in and out of the hands of Reggie Brickman. Brickman, who has been one of the playmakers for this for the Hornets, as Lorcan Ryans prepares to punt mm. from his own 10 yard line here on fourth down. Got it up. Got it up. Got it up. Mm. And Harrell is swung down, but an outstanding return. And the Hornets fans love a lot members, of people out there. Outgaining Tuskegee 138 to 26 in total yardage on the carry. Yeah. That's Daquan Quincy. Quincy, the senior out of Abbeville, Alabama, transferred over from Clark, Atlanta with an outstanding. I'm glad the sun was shining in Alabama. Cause yesterday it was raining. Open. And open again, and each time they get him, yo, I mean, wide open. A touchdown from 20 yards out. And boy, that thing was right wide now, open. Kareem Key is cooking. Down. <laughs> First and ten, best starting field position for Tuskegee from their own 42-yard line. The handoff to Chase Sellers, and mm. Sellers gets pushed out of bounds by James Burgess. Pickup of six. Here's Beal, the pass complete, and that's Garmin. Garmin, who has had a few targets here this afternoon, hauls it in. And the redshirt freshman out of Jack's offensive coordinator. They like to switch things up. He loves the running back room. And Chase Sellers lining up at Wildcat. Who got it? Uh, it okay. Through. A couple of defenders. I like James it. James Burgess picks up or knocks him down, but a first down picked up by Chase Sellers. So anybody can take the lead role. Johnny Morris now at the Wildcat position. Mm. He receives it, the direct snap from center. And right up ahead, he's still moving the pile. I'm about to say, blow the whistle. To get to him for the Hornets. And that's the strength of the team. If that's the strength of your group, give them the football. Why waste time with a quarterback handing it off? Morris, once again, keeps it back. I like it. Good. Hey, I like Johnny it. Morris. Good play. Boy, when he I like it. To the edge, you've got to watch out. Gain of third. Look at this. I mean, this is like a flag football formation. <laughs> hey, let him. Let him run. Morris wasn't even expecting it. Trying Look to wait patience. patiently and does so. Gets through. And another. They should have. Hey, listen. They should have kept doing that the majority of the game. For for Number 65, Sean Stitton, who helped to create that hole here. Another running back. This Zena Ego. Moba. And Moba out of the Wildcat formation now. And you got to like the variety. Yeah. Again, when, when you have a stable of running backs that you can go to, second and eight from the Hornets' 11-yard line. Mm, they were waiting on that one. They were waiting for that. Garmin and right there. They were waiting for that. Was Deshaun Jackson and Dasheen Jackson. Coming, but you have to figure out who is. Jackson is coming. In and out of the hands with Kenneth Law. That's a drop pass. He went the right place with the football for the Golden Lion Tigers. That could have been a first down. The kick is up and it's through. So Tuskegee gets their first points 
of the game. Please refrain from of the 2021 <laughs> Cricket Celebration Bowl. Come here, Wolf. Come here. And on the carry and got it there. through. That's AJ Gates Jr. He's got the wheels. He's making the moves. Hey, and good. Hey, good tackle fire. That's a good tackle fire. Eddie Robinson Jr. for Alabama State. And right now, E Rob's squad is balling as of right now. That's Jalen Jones. Man, Jalen break Jones, the tackle. He was one of the touchdown recipients from Key. Another Eddie Robinson senior. But he said he stuck with it. Key flinging it out. Going to Ooh, the end picked zone the ball off, boy. Intercepted Michael King Jr. Picked the ball off. 91. You needed that one. Your team needed that. The handoff and Look at the that. Look what happened there. Right there, the cut from Jalen mm. Jones, who's having a day so far. Touchdown from 28 yards out. As he's getting it to the end zone. <laughs> mm, he dropped it too early. I think it's a touchdown. I think it's a touchdown but from that angle, but here's another look at it. Better angle. Oh, oh no, no, no. That, that, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, that ball is out, big dog. Yeah, that ball is out. That ball is out. Yeah, they the give it to him. To Mulba, and Mulba, who waits, cuts back inside, and then pushes mm, Get hit. By Jackson. Number one hitting. Back lane to the right. Number one out there hitting. Going with Mulba again, finds a little bit of daylight and a first down here. We've not seen teams in the SWAT Division One have a success running the 5'9", 270 pounds, going in motion right now. So you got to worry about the running backs, and then you got to worry about Come here. the big fullback. A way to hold on to the football. Kenneth Law Jr., who we saw drop one on the last Tuskegee from their 46-yard line. And not Rico. to the ground. That's Rico. Rico. Dozier, the transfer linebacker, tackle for a loss of four. He's up today. Now second and 14. Beal steps up, delivers into the hands of Mulba. Go ahead, Mulba. go ahead then, go ahead then. Cena Mulba. Come on. Who was able to score again. It's Jaquiel Rouser in at that Wildcat mm. position. And so we talked about how they can cycle through a number of different Looking to claw their way back into this game. Scored on their last possession. Can they keep this drive going? Across the middle. Good tackle. And trailing the crossing route from Gregory King in the pass. Incomplete. Twilly Lovett. Fourth down. Got to get to. Oh, they, oh, they coming. They coming. The screaming. Yard line. The pass That's a hell of a catch. The hands of That's a hell of a Jr. catch. So, Golden Tiger. Tenth play of the drive. Coming right here on the snap. It's Beal again mm. out of his hands, and that ball was deflected. So Deja Jack of Johnny Morris, who has the most yards on the ground with 53. And he takes it to that left side, tries to find some room, and then come from behind. The big tackle made by Elmore. Elijah Elmore. Got to pick up nine yards here. Beal drops back, looks Whoa, to his left. Come on now. From mm. And he goes down. Should have threw it away. Ball, ball comes loose. Damn. Some noise for those boys on well, that's been his season long. In fact, this would tie a career long. He hit one from 47 yards against Graham. The kick, boy. The kick, boy. The kick. In Lorcan. I got a kick, boy. To maybe make it to the postseason. If you're just tuning in, it was 21 unanswered points by Alabama State. Tuskegee has found a way. The, the secondary. I think the defensive line has done a good job against the run, but there's been poor tackling in the secondary, been poor coverage in the secondary. Wow. Once again, right there. That same play. Oh, poor tackling oh in the secondary. Goodness. That's crazy. Keep his That's crazy. I don't understand how dog didn't want to forego, but they opted out. How not able to play tight can y'all y'all get them forward. out Johnny of bounds? Trying to move the pile forward on that first down run. It's going to bring up second and about four. 
Muskegee rivalry. And they've also played on Labor Day as well. We were here for that once before as Morris comes even closer. He's going to bring up third and about two. And you would think down thus far. This one, their shortest one to go. It's Mulba in motion. He's running behind him. Or Chell Chase Sellers. And mm, let's go. Come on. And oh, man, Johnny Morris. Johnny Morris is one of those guys where you just want to pay attention to at all times. Total packed Spanish Fort Alabama as Johnny Morris remains in that position. Mm. Again, trying to follow on, Sellers. Guys. Decides to reverse <laughs> field. <laughs> and then popped and thumped by Demarcus Cunningham. Cunningham, the other <laughs> caller. Here on second and 11. Let's it go. Has a man and delivers right in the bread basket of Gabriel get Gorman. Catch. 24 yard reception for first down. And you know, edge rushers like to just attack the quarterback and attack at first starts, but they're running directly at him. And making him choose going inside or outside. And sometimes he's just taking himself out of the play with his aggressiveness. After the two minute timeout, second and 12. Beal in the quick reverse and back to the quarterback. And mm. open and stuck immediately. The tackle made Ooh. by Dwight Jenkins. Ooh. Ooh. AP Boy. opponents and here on third and 14th, Traquan Thomas tried to get by. Beal escapes, gets the ball away, and the pass is incomplete. Beal who took a Damn. shot, slow to get up. Screen, they've got a trip wide receiver formation. Cover two defenses don't like that. That means you can attack the middle of the field. Well, they converted on fourth and six, and there Do an right interception to him. right into the hands of Do the defender. Right to him. And coming back on this one, that's Trey Phillips, and Trey Phillips with the INT. 25 yard return in the process. Or before halftime. Yeah, well, they scored a couple of touchdowns in 48 seconds already in this game to Robert McMinn, who already has two. Wisely receives it, steps out of bounds. He'll trying to run the second man through open. Kareem Key, who's already had a career day, four touchdowns, steps up into the pocket. Mm. And he's tripped up and brought down out. by Tyler Wells. And they're going to have out of the timeout here on third and three. Man in motion, but they hand it off to Daquan Kinsey. And Quincy Kinsey picks up the first down and a little bit more, so the clock will stop. Follow the football. He's normally the lead guy. That's Dylan Creech, number 40. Instead, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Asa Gray mm. trying to make the 100 grab. And Michael King... Junior was there on the coverage. Coverage five. The See, they're coming out of set formation, and Tuskegee can do well in these situations. Mmm, the interception. Instead, not on the same page. There you go, Tuskegee. Rose there you go. Comes up with it. There you so go. They hand the ball right back over to Tuskegee, who will likely. I like that. Fantastic facility here at ASU Stadium. Second half play is underway as. Tuskegee feels this one on the return. Mm, come here, whoa. That's Khalil Rouser, Julia. Come here. Jaquiel Rouser and Rouser who's finding space mm. and then head on. Ran over the kicker. lowers the boom, 40-yard return for Rouser. Uh, uh, Tuskegee. Really helped the I efforts. like it. Johnny Gilbert. I like it, 3-6. They hand it off to Morris. Morris with the cutback and Morris who's flipped and upended. Uh, by Amon Scarborough in a first down. The mighty Marching Hornets as well. Johnny Morris back at it again along that mm. right side. And when he gets to the edge, he can be just as dangerous as he is running between the tackles. And he's most effective form. Meanwhile, Kareem Key is having himself a day here on second and six. And into the hands, Devon Cooper. And Cooper kind of shaking the Wildcat. He goes to that right side, and Demarcus Cunningham tracks him down, but not before they move the chains. And I like when Morris is back. Rotates in at Wildcat. They send Morris in motion, and Morris is going to block and create a path forward mm. for Chase Sellers, who dives down as James Burgess credited with the tackle. First down and into the red zone.
one for one with a field goal. Sellers looking, looking patiently inside, and Demarcus Cunningham standing him up again. I mean, how about this? Red zone offense, Tuskegee. They have zero field goals in the red zone. On one blocker. And Morris flanks out. And intercepted once yeah, again he, he got the it. red zone. So another INT. Damn. His second of the day. And Amon Scarborough comes up with it. So that thwarts the drive. Meanwhile, there is a flag. Damn. But Tough to see that drive end in that matter. Mr. Quan Kinsey and Kinsey on the run brought down by Charles Davis. I hate to see that drop in like that. Gain of five. Gain of five on the play. Got baby hair still on his face. And off to Quincy, Kinsey and to Quan Kinsey brought down by behind from Noah Holton. To the freshman. Empty backfield with a freshman quarterback giving him an opportunity to attack. Mm. And he finds Robert McMinn, and McMinn helps him with the yards after catch. To skirt around for 12 yards and a first down. So three. This offense taking their time from their own 47 on the A on the field. The handoff right up the middle. Mm. And Marcus Harris, the second, is bouldering his way ahead. Michael McGuire on the. Have so many veteran players. It's Harris again this time. He's trying to bounce to the outside, and Rossi Grimes giving chase, and a flag a flies flag out in the field. middle of the field in the process. 20 now. And Alabama State. Kareem Got it Key finds a okay, zone Kareem. and hole and keeps okay, Kareem. going as Kareem Key picks up all 20 yards plus two hmm. more. And on the carry, that's Jalen Jones. Wow. Jones with a nice move, and Jones Damn. on his way out of bounds. By Ain't no flag. Ain't no flag. College. So two and a half weeks before they hit the field again to take on this group. And big number 99, Terrence Mays. We called him at the start of the game. First time that we're calling him since. Alabama State, eighth play of the drive for the Hornets. Marcus Harris, who's the play, tripped up zero. in the backfield by Noah Holton. Holton, heating your call, Jay. Of mm, and kid. up and through. Well, Brandon Gilliam, that's his first field of goal of the game. And it's stretching out. Another runner when he's in there, so this way they don't have to show their hand so much as we're going to run the ball. And the handoff to Moba. And Moba, who's brought yeah. down the tackle made. Eight of ways to get the running backs the football. And I like having two running backs in the backfield at once. Davis, who was looking downfield, he decides to take off. Take some well, you better lower your shoulder. We're going to do all that. It's going to bring up third and medium. Dwight. You're on third and seven. Stays up, and the receiver falls down in the Damn. process. That was in the face of Aaron James. Key looking, pump faking, still on his feet, goes underneath wisely. Wide open. Has his man Jalen Jones, and Jones who has been special mm. after the catch. It. Well, he was stretched out there by Moore and King on defense and special teams. Player was held oh, in mm. the process and no flag coming whoa, out. Jay, whoa. you and I both saw that <laughs> as the receiver was held. Third and you can let that go. You're already beating them by over 21, man. Let that, let that flag tries go. tries to bring pressure. They catch up to it, but wrapped up and nowhere to go as, again, the interior line. With no place to go. Well, Gilliam, who just made a 42-yarder, tries to go for another one. Here, even with the win, no problem, and it's through. So tacking on three more. Change is the word to describe college Change football nowadays. the word. 
indeed. Mm. Raquan Beal back into the ball game. Three six. And that's Rouser. Rouser up ahead on the carry. So they have Malik Davis for a series, and they elect to go back with and understand. That's real important. Here on second and four, Beal hands it off. Rouser again. He's driven back. One of the things that we have seen, Rouser, Sellers, full faith in this rotation of running backs, bringing Morris in motion, trying to decoy him a little bit, but good enough for Rouser to run ahead for the first down. I don't think the timing was there. The ball was probably snap across the formation in motion. Probably give a tough type of jet sweep look. Johnny Morris. Mm, come here. Trying to patiently wait, cut back, still on his feet, and then wrapped up and brought down by the linebacker duo of Dozier and Cunningham. Peel back in, Rouser to his left. Peel off the back foot. And going airborne a little bit early, but Reggie Brickman is able to bring it down. Game long for this Golden Tiger offense to pick up and convert the yardage needed for third downs. Can they do it here? Mm. As it's incomplete. Classic Jay Walker, Tim DeGree back here with you. Alabama State has the ball. And they carry it on first and 10. It's Daquan Kinsey who gets the run. So Kinsey, the seniors, but much like we've seen from Tuskegee, some solid running backs for Alabama State. Between Kinsey and Marcus Harris, the second. That education paying off for you, partner. Third and five there. Trying to get some pressure and miss tackle. Miss tackle. AJ Gates Jr. Mm. AJ Gates Jr. Yeah, I did keeps on going. He keeps on going. And they finally push him out. Mm. Inside the 10 is. I did not think they had the most, so. Yes. I learned something <laughs> hanging around you. See, if I thought it was North Carolina, as I'm sure many people do. North Carolina has 10. And, and that the short three, run Dewan there Kinsey. from the six-yard line. Okay, Jay. Man in motion, and they hand off again to Kinsey. And Kinsey, who's moving the pile all the way down to the one-yard line, is going to bring up third and goal three, from Dewan the one. Kinsey. Third and goal from the one. Kinsey trying to find room, has nowhere to go. And again, the front four holding tough for Tuskegee. Against this game, Tuskegee defensive front. Man in motion. They hand it off once more, and Kinsey doesn't mm. get in. It's gonna be short and a flag coming out on the far side as well. There's a flag on the field. They're thinking safety. From their own one, it's Towser trying to get out and barely able to do so as Amon Scarborough is there on the tackle and a flag flying out at the end of the play. This is against Alabama State. Alabama State, first and 10 for the Golden Tigers, the handoff, and that's to Rouser, and Rouser picks up about three on the play. On some more insurance has been Alabama State. And now with just over six minutes to go, with the visitors here mm. in Tuskegee, who has found their greatest effectiveness on the ground. I mean, if there was an air, Florence is looking on to be like, oh. Man. <laughs> That's a, and Raekwon Bill's a better guy than me because I would have had some words for my tight end. Robert McMahon on the return, trying to set something up. Has mm. a block from Phillips. Come here. Goes inside out. And then how about Lorcan Ryan's coming in to make the tackle. The punter on the play. But McMahon. <laughs> the punter happy he made that tackle. <laughs> Partner, it's Cole here at this point. <laughs> on oh, this man. Day from ASU Stadium. Dedicated fans, but 
temperatures dropped, as you mentioned. When the yes, Langford now in at quarterback, handles the low snap, and the handoff to the running back in a short game there as Kareem Key, we mentioned, how great of a game he had. Now the junior out of Montgomery. He touched the field. Congratulations to you. He'll feel even better if he can pick up this first down. Tries to run for it, but wrapped up immediately and brought down. I'm about to say, who that? By Jarrell Colbert. So now fourth in Montana as Eddie George trying to do it for Tennessee State. Makes you think a guy like Jeff Fisher, who coached both of them, has to be proud of. Jeff Fisher also coached Bubba McDowell, who is coaching the Prairie View. And we've gotten word that he is indeed okay and currently in stable condition. Certainly our prayers continue to go out to his family. The sophomore who's been busy today puts it up again. Fumble. Oh, he fumbled. And Tuskegee is going to come up with it. Got it. So Tuskegee. Absolutely. Here's Davis trying to avoid and couldn't get away from no. Traquan Thomas, adding to that total of sacks leading the conference and one of the best in the and that's another tackle for a loss as the pass complete to Charles Talden while there are that they have fallen big to Alabama State once more being brought down is Malik yes, Davis all right, uh, all right. Um, I want to tell the truth about Alabama State season. The twenty-four. Uh, first off, I want to say shout out to Kareem Keto. The in in the time in which he was probably not even on the on the death chart when it comes to quarterback, because he came in this season as a wide receiver. And then you have your top three quarterbacks go down in the span of three or four weeks. And then you get asked to come in against FAMU, by the way, who at the time, FAMU, I think they only lost one, maybe two games or whatever, but they were still undefeated in the conference. Considered the top dog in the conference. You come in there and then, and I'm talking about like as a rest of freshman. For you to come in and do what you did and to hold down the ship and to still end the year above 500, I think it's very commendable. And me personally, if I'm being honest, I think Alabama State's, uh, Alabama State's offense or team in general were robbed of an opportunity to compete for a championship this year. Solely based on injury. You talking about from Andrew Body to the other two quarterbacks that was on the roster to AJ Gates getting hurt during the year to Holslaw to Holslaw getting hurt in the middle of the year, not returning, to Tyree Sanders. We're talking about all the guys on the offensive side of the ball that could have really made a difference that the games that they've lost in the conference, I think they would have made a world of a difference had they all been healthy. That's just me. Because Alabama State's defense were, to me, it was the best defense in the SWAC, to me, I feel like. And for them to have not have all of their weapons on offense, I feel like, I always thought every week what Alabama State could have been have they had all their weapons on offense healthy. That's how I feel. And for them to have a redshirt freshman as a quarterback who came in as a receiver, I think it's very commendable. And I can't wait to see where he ends up if he decides to stay. But listen – we're all going to be watching 
Jackson State and Southern next week in the SWAC championship. I think the uh, the Bayou Classic is this weekend, though. But listen, man, I'm always going to think about what could have been for Alabama State, man, because I really feel like – and even with that, they were still in, like, Jackson State, with them versus Jackson State. I feel like if they had a better quarterback situation, that game could have gone differently. The game that they have versus FAMU, if Andrew Body would have played, I think that game go differently. Because Bama State was in a position to win in FAMU's offense. We're not going to go down again. But listen, I feel like I'm going to stand on this, though. I feel like Bama State probably could have won the conference had their quarterback situation was better. Honestly, that's just how I feel about it. But listen, man, I want to give a shout out to Alabama State this year, man, because they really done something special without without a good quarterback situation, without one. They were they finished above five hundred, so I can't. We can't kill Ad Robinson for that. Can't kill him for that. And for him to be an above five hundred team for three straight years. Very commendable, man. So, kudos to him. I can't wait to see what this team looked like next year. But shout out to him.